welcome to no physics with me hope all are doing good yes so in previous session we discussed about fleming's left hand rule hope you are all clear with it yes so in this session we are going to discuss questions based on fleming's left hand rule uh, it is also in included in your ncert textbook okay so example 13.2 is what we are going to discuss in this session okay yes so first uh, once you read the question try to keep your fingers based on fleming's left hand rule then we will turn our fingers according to our question and find the direction okay yes so let's first read the question an electron enters a magnetic field at right angles to it as shown in figure so a figure is given on your right hand side so we'll check that and we'll follow the direction the direction of force acting on the electron will be to the right to the left out of the page into the page so they have given you the options also first let us draw what is given in your textbook so like this is what given s yes or no so they have given two direction so generally using fleming's left hand rule three things we will consider what all current magnetic field and force okay and this force is what we are going to Find. okay so they have been given the direction of current directly if in your questions the direction of current is given directly take it as such here instead of current they have given the direction of the electron so we already know that the direction of conventional current is always opposite to the direction of electron so electron moves from negative to positive so our current direction will be opposite to electron so positive to negative okay so in this question it is said that the direction of electron is facing like this so the direction of current will be moving like this clear yes and magnetic field directly they have given it is towards your right hand side now we have to find the direction of force that is what our question is so first keep your fingers according to your left hand rule so first you three fingers in the way that they are mutually perpendicular to each other okay so thumb should point up this finger should be pointing like this and the th third finger should be pointing towards you okay yes now for convenience for you to understand i have written f m and c f is representing the direction of force m is representing the direction of magnetic field and c current okay now what you have to do is simply according to your diagram you place your hand see first i place uh, in order of left hand rule but if i place like this magnetic field direction is correct but my current direction is different it is coming like this but it is going like this so according to your question what you have to do you have to turn your hand okay but the directions of this should not be changed instead turn your hand like this and check if i keep like this what will happen no if i keep like this no so i want the direction of current to be upwards and direction of magnetic field to be right hand side now check this is the direction of current and this is the direction of magnetic field so where is my thumb pointing my thumb is pointing into the page correct according if you keep your textbook and keep your fingers on it what will be uh, the direction of force it will be into the page okay so check for the options you have given to the right is it to the right no to the left no out of the page into the page so the option is the direction of force is into the page clear see keep it like this and magnetic field should be here current direction to be here so the direction of force is into the page since i am showing it on board it is like downwards when you keep your hand on your book and see it is into the page clear yes 